What's up guys, in this video I just want to do a quick video kind of explaining the difference of the different SRAM cranks uh, and the progression that they have gone through. Uh, back when SRAM first started, uh, they actually had what was called GXP, and this is a GXP spindle. This is made of steel, and it would actually, this right here is a 24 millimeter spindle, which is just like your Shimano 24 millimeter spindles on their crank sets. Now what's different about the GXP than the Shimano is right here is actually a 22 millimeter. So with it being 22 millimeter right here, uh, it, it caused some issues. It was, it was really a pain in the rear end, honestly, because the bottom bracket, like this side is a 24, so it fit on just fine there. But on this side, you'd have to use uh, this, which is basically the inner diameter of a 22. So, you know, you can put it on there like that and it's like, oh great, okay, that works great. The only problem is if you needed to shim your crank set this way or this way, this bearing would stop you from going this way or this way, okay? So that, that was one of the most annoying things about GXP was that this was a different size than the rest of it. Once again, this was made with steel. Now, they also would make a BB30 uh, crank set similar to this one. This one would come a little bit later, but the BB30 originally, and I'll throw up a picture of it, uh, it would have a really, really short spindle right here because the original BB30 bottom brackets were very narrow. And they started with, with uh, Cannondale. Cannondale is really the first company that started using um, you know, BB30 uh, style bottom brackets. This one you can see here, it is much, much shorter if we compare these two right there. So you can see how short that spindle is. And so that gives you an idea. Now SRAM, they had something very similar to this uh, for a little while. They did not use it much, but it can only fit a certain number of frames, the frames that have really, really narrow uh, bottom brackets. So, but then after that, when they basically their BB30 was too narrow because some companies started making wider uh, cranks or bottom brackets, uh, SRAM came out with this setup, which is uh, Press Fit 30 is what they called it, but essentially it's a wider spindle. It's as wide as like the GXP spindle uh, width wise, um, but obviously it's a BB30 and this is made out of aluminum to try to keep the weight down. So you can see the size there, difference of that. A lot of companies have gone to this uh, where it's just a wide 30 millimeter spindle. I really like that because you can fit it on pretty much every bottom bracket out there uh, with this wider spindle. Uh, actually, I think it was um, Rotor are the first ones who did that. You can kind of see, I'll pull up a Rotor right here. This is a, a Rotor uh, 3D uh, crank set and they basically did the same thing. This spindle is wider than normal. Essentially, it's the same width as this. Uh, so, and also the benefit of these 30 millimeter spindles that I like so much is you can add spacers on each side. So your bearing does not limit how far you move your crank left or right. Obviously your frame's gonna limit that in most cases, but with the GXP, you have this 22 millimeter part here. Now, um, if you do wanna move your GXP, you have to add spacers. You see how I have a spacer right there on this? You have to add, add a spacer on the inside to push that bearing out to make this move in further this way. So if you do have a GXP and you wanna move it, that's what you have to do. Sometimes you can't, sometimes you can, you just have to, to mess with it. So, um, so once again, SRAM, they came out with this to address the really short spindle issue before. Uh, so far, all these I've talked about are road bikes, uh, road bike crank sets, okay? Now, SRAM has what is called dub, all right? So dub is essentially, if you look at it, it looks very similar to this, right? Uh, and what they've done is they've taken the 30 millimeter spindle and they have now made it 28.99 millimeters. So basically 29 millimeter is what it is. And the reasoning behind that is they, they were thinking like, okay, so uh, we can make our bearings a little bit larger than the bearings here. Because when you try to slam in some 30 millimeter bearings on a, on a press fit 92 bottom bracket, the bearings have to be tiny. And obviously you're gonna have some wear and tear on a, on a tiny uh, bearing there. So uh, that was the idea behind this at least, was to have some, some bigger bearings on the inside of your bottom bracket. And as you can see here, both sides are the same width. So if you need to move it one way or another, depending on you know, your, your frame and everything like that, you can do that with the dub, so that's nice. Smaller diameter also means it can be lighter. So it is a lighter setup. These, these cranks here are super light. They do have this called the Dub SL, which is, like I said, SL for super light. And then this is just a regular Dub, so it doesn't have SL on there. Still very lightweight. Um, and as far as these go, 
uh, you see here on this side, this is actually a busted cap there, but I have actually removed this spindle and put in other spindles before. Um, so I have several, like here's another spindle here that I popped off of another one. So uh, you can actually remove these. It says do not remove them, but I do have a video. I'll link that up uh, above and also I'll throw it in the description below. So if you want to play around with these cranks, you can. Um, okay, so let's compare the, uh, the mountain bike version versus the road version. Essentially, when you look at it and you compare the length of the spindle, the spindles are almost identical as far as the width of them goes. So it's almost identical. But obviously you can't have a narrow Q factor with a mountain bike because you have wider tires, you have a wider uh, chain ring, uh, not wider chain ring, but your wider uh, uh, chain stays, if I could speak. Uh, so what they have done is essentially you've taken the dub spindle, same length here, and you just see a big kink here that's more pronounced than the kink here. So this one's more straight, you can see. So they make the Q factor, uh, you know, just basically wider by bending the crank arms wider. And that's the major difference between the road and the mountain bike setup. So let's go back to the dub real quick. For the longest time, uh, SRAM had what was called a three bolt pattern uh, on their spider. So you can see here, let me go ahead and take these off so we can, All right, another thing I want to mention is the uh, pattern here that they would use for the spiders. Um, and this is actually a uh, three bolt pattern here, you can see. So that would essentially fit there and then you would screw it down. So that's obviously a mountain bike chain ring right there. Now, SRAM essentially switched to this eight bolt pattern for their power meters. Uh, so they all now have eight bolts on the road setup. Um, they did make a few of these press fit 30s with an 8 bolt pattern, but then they came out with dub. And so you don't see many of these um, with 8 bolt patterns. There are a few out there, but there's not many. Um, the 8 bolt pattern is a little annoying trying to find a spider for that, uh, you know, if you're not running a power meter. If you're running a power meter, it's nice to have that. This is the 3 bolt pattern. This is the traditional pattern that they go back to uh, with this, the press fit 30. So you have the same bolt pattern there, road and mountain bike. Uh, now, if you do a mountain bike power meter with the dub, the power meter for the mountain bike is going to have the same 8 bolt pattern. So if you buy a, you know, let's say you buy a, a power meter mountain bike crank set and you think, oh, okay, well, I'll just take that off and put a spider on, it's going to have this pattern. And you cannot, this is not interchangeable, these patterns here. So you have to have a specific 8 bolt pattern for that. Now this here, this is just a, a press fit this goes back, this is the mountain bike version of this road version. And essentially the spindle is very similar. It's almost identical on these. Once again, you just get the bend here uh, a little bit wider to make it a wider um, Q factor. All right guys, this is actually a uh, from one of these press fit 30s and it's actually an eight bolt pattern press fit 30. Once again, these are not super common, but they do have them out there. Now one little bit of information that's fascinating is this pattern right here is identical to that pattern right there on the 30 millimeter spindle. Okay, so the pattern there between both of those are identical. So you can actually take a non-drive side dub power meter or a crank set here and take a press fit 30 from the old version and they actually go together perfectly. No issues whatsoever. I've, I've run that several times before. Uh, if I have like a crank set or, or a different chain ring set I want to use, uh, and I have this in my bike already, instead of pulling out the whole thing and putting a new crank set in, I'll just pull off the right drive side and then I'll throw the other drive side on there, you know, with whatever size chain ring I want. Uh, but anyway, so kind of interesting you can do that uh, with the dub and the 30 millimeter spindles. Now, one thing to be careful about is the spindles are sometimes with these press fit uh, 30 spindles here, they are sometimes a different width from each other. You can see this one is a little bit narrower uh, than that one right there. So, um, you know, if you're trying to fit certain frames or certain bikes, you might want to check. This actually came off a mountain bike, which the mountain bike spindle is, is narrower than the road spindle. And that's because, once again, the road spindle or the mountain bike spindle bends outward, okay? Um, so that will happen sometimes uh, as far as the mountain bikes uh, spindles. They'll be a little bit narrower sometimes than these, and sometimes they're the same like this one was. So it just depends on um, what spindle you get. Now this is a spindle here uh, that came off one of these press fit, and you can see it was one of the uh, mountain bike ones too, and, and as you can see, it's very narrow as well.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was just a quick video explaining the SRAM crank sets. If you do have any questions about any of these, um, just let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I hope this was informational for you. Uh, if you liked it, be sure to smash that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. That helps me out tremendously, and have a great day.